In this demonstration, we'll go over the invoice processing capabilities built into SciGen SciCapture. To initiate the processing of my invoices, <clears throat> I can choose the type of documents I want to process, select my file, or click Start Capture to start processing from a dedicated scanner. It'll go ahead and create my batch, bring in my documents. In this demo, you can see that it actually brings in a single file and then splits it into individual pages. In my next step in the workflow, we'll actually perform indexing. What the software does, it actually uh, converts the first page of each document into searchable text and then searches for specific expressions. Uh, you can see here that it automatically highlighted my invoice number. When I hover over it, I can click and auto-populate my index fields. So just point and click indexing. When I come to my vendor, I can actually click and drag to fill in a field. And then for my total, it actually zooms in to a specific zone on a page. So I can click on my total and go right to the next document. So you can see quickly and easily, I can highlight and just point and click to process my invoices. The next step in my workflow is OCR, so we'll automatically convert these invoices into searchable PDF documents. Within the Quality Assurance module, I can actually review my work, make sure that all my data has been entered correctly. If I tab, I can go through the fields and actually ensure that my work is correct. And if I had to, I could come in as well and actually do image processing on the documents. So if I wanted to de-skew, de-speckle, uh, remove lines, resize the documents, or crop them, I could do that here. I can also do that at capture time automatically but you have the option of doing it in quality assurance. Now my last step is migration. And what I'm going to do here is a two-step process. I'm actually going to migrate to a text file, which I can then load into a spreadsheet with all my invoice information. Or if I wanted to, I could upload that into my financial system. I'll also export my documents to Microsoft SharePoint so that I have the images that I can search for later, bring up, print, distribute, uh, depending on what I want to do with them. So if I come into my folder here, this is where I actually outputted the information. And you can see that my output, I've got a nice pretty CSV file that I can work with. And if I open up SharePoint and look at my invoices, what I told the software to do when it migrates the information into SharePoint is I created a demo folder. Okay, so you can see for Quick Fuels, I've got my demo folder. And then within the folder, um, I migrated both the PDF and the image file. Now I could choose to omit one of those, but uh, just for demo purposes, we can bring over both types of files, both the text conversion as well as the image. And now these are fully searchable uh, depending on if you have your, your uh, PDF filter enabled within SharePoint. The other option that a, a, a wide variety of customers ask for is the capability to also import digital invoices. So in this, uh, in this current environment, a lot of the, uh, the vendors will actually send invoices via email or in digital form. So what we have the capability to do within SciGen SciCapture is we can actually point to vendor folders. So as the invoice comes in, the accounting personnel can save their, uh, their documentation into vendor folders. And then with the software, once a week, uh, we can do this process either automatically or we can do it manually, as I'll show here. I can click on Start Capture, click OK, and let me choose my directory. Okay. And what the software does, it goes through these folder structures, finds all the invoices, and then automatically assigns the vendor name based on the folder that it picked up the file from. 
So what this does for us, it gives you a quick and easy way not only to do the OCR assisted and point and click indexing for scanned files or paper files that you're converting, but it also gives us a way to easily import digital files that we save into file folders. That concludes the demo portion um, of this overview. Now what I'll do for TechFo 